overseas tonight. Now to the tensions that have been building on the Korean Peninsula in recent days as North Korea, under this untested 28-year-old leader, has been stirring things up with the U.S. and neighboring South Korea. Well, today the U.S. answered with a symbolic show of force that really represented quite a dramatic effort. And late tonight, North Korea volleyed back by saying they are putting rocket units on standby to fire at U.S. military bases. NBC's Ian Williams reports from the Seoul, South Korean capital, Seoul. The two stealth bombers dropped munitions on a South Korean bombing range, part of joint military drills scheduled to run through April. They were deployed from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, a distance of more than 6,000 miles, a show of force coming at a time of escalating tensions on the Korean peninsula. We will uh, unequivocally uh, defend and we are unequivocally committed to that alliance with South Korea as uh, well as our uh, other allies in that region of the world. Angered by the military drills, North Korea's young and untested new leader, Kim Jong-un, has issued almost daily threats, including the threat of nuclear strikes on Washington and Seoul. The North has also threatened to attack U.S. bases in the Pacific, following tough U.S.-led sanctions imposed after Pyongyang's third nuclear test. And Pyongyang severed one of the last remaining hotlines to the South, put its troops on what it calls combat readiness, and warned that Quote, war may break out at any time. It has already renounced the armistice that ended the Korean War 60 years ago. It's all put South Koreans on edge. If North Korea makes a misjudgment, South Korea should deliver a strong punishment. So far, North Korea has not moved beyond rhetoric. Despite its recent nuclear and rocket tests, analysts doubt the North has yet mastered the technology to mount a nuclear warhead on a missile. Kim Jong-un may be playing to a domestic audience, using the hysteria to rally his people. But security officials warn he may be more reckless even than his father, the late Kim Jong-il leading to fears of more conflict on the Korean peninsula. Security officials here are bracing themselves for a fresh volley of violent rhetoric. Brian? Ian Williams, Seoul, South Korea for us tonight. Ian, thanks.